What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shonen Showdown. I'm your host, Rob, and to the right of me is Scott. And today, we're going to be talking about our third Naruto fan versus battle. We're covering Mike Guy versus Kakashi Hatake. So make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, so let's just get right into it, Scotty. Um, first, we want to give a background for both characters before we go into our picks of who would win. Um, so first, let's talk about Kakashi Hatake. Uh, well, Kakashi, you know, graduated the Ninja Academy at five years old, uh, became a Jonin at 13 years old, mm. was one of the youngest Jonin captains, uh, was so young that he actually ended up captaining a squad of classmates in his same graduation year. Mm. Uh, that's pretty OP. Uh, fought alongside, we all know, Minato in the third grade ninja war. Mm -hmm. um, this record. man is so beast that he was asked to be Hokage, what, like four times? Like, <laughs> and he was always, he yes. always turned it down, but they know, they know his resume. His resume is long. Uh, also, he's been in the Ambu Black Ops for, what, like 20 years? The majority of his life? This man knows nothing else except being a ninja. Right, he's a beast. Come on, Kakashi is one of the most prolific, you know, shinobi um, in Naruto. We're talking about absolute all-around beast skill set. Whether it's Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, Genjutsu, anything you're thinking of, Kakashi has already made a plan ahead of time for you. Um, he is just next level. As uh, he has Hokage level jutsus as well, which is why we see him assume the six Hokage uh, role at some point. Um, we see all his techniques. And him and my guy have been rivals from almost since day one. I mean, this is he Kakashi is the one that actually drove my guy to his heightened uh, potential as well. That's um, right. So we know this. We also know how beast his father was as well. So he comes from you know a great lineage of top tier shinobi. But let's also talk about my guy. You know, one of the best. Actually, he is the best taijutsu wielder in the entire series, Hands without down. a doubt. Without Hands a doubt, down. nobody can stop my guy when it comes to taijutsu. He's inspired Rock Lee. He was inspired by his father, my guy, as we all know. Um, and we see him. He's a leader of Neji, Rock Lee, and Ten Ten, which that was a B squad in and of, its, in and of itself. Um, and he was able to show his leadership skills. He can also stop Genjutsu as well, so he's also highly skilled in that regard. But his Taijutsu is just unstoppable. We all know what happened to Madara <laughs> Uchiha, even when he was in his Tenchil Jinchuriki form, when Mike got transformed. We all saw eight gates, we all saw everything, and um, Madara almost got killed in that instance. So my guy is just completely next level. He also even took down Kisame. So he's yeah, that was he's top tier. That was up there. That was up there. That was a very impressive fight. Um, going into this debate, we got to clarify. We will be discussing eight gates, my guy, mm -hmm. versus double MS Kakashi. All right, we yep. get specifics. This we is are what the fans wanted to see. Right. We're gonna get right into it. We're gonna count all the abilities. So, like you said, at them, at their highest tiers, at their highest powers, who are you going to take? Are you going to take Kakashi with? His double Magenkyo Sharingan. Or are you going to take my guy at eight gates who was able to take down Madara Uchiha and 10 tails to Judy before? <laughs> Everybody knows you can go either way with this, depending on your preference, depending on your favorite character. Mm -hmm. But in actuality, there is a clear right. winner okay. that a lot of people have found, a lot of people still argue about. But I'm going to tell you. The winner of that fight, hands down every time, is going to be none other than Double MS Kakashi. Thank you. You have to do Thank it. Thank you. There's no way. Thank you. If you compare Thank you. the skills, Thank the you. moves that Double MS Kakashi oh has, and you see or analyze all the methods that my guy has, there are counters that Kakashi can perform for all of eight gates guys moves whereas there aren't counters that my guy can perform for all of double ms kakashi's moves you can't do it because of that 
Kakashi's winning, hands down. What do you think? Well, I mean, the answer is clearly Kakashi Hatsuke. Um, I know there's tons of Mike Guy fans out there that think they saw Mike Guy take down Madara Uchiha in Ten Tails Jin Jinchuriki form, and the first thing they thought of is, oh, if someone can't beat Madara in Ten Tails Jinchuriki form, I guess they can't beat my guy. I guess, all right, you know what? My guy's better than Kakashi. And I'm like, hold on. Let's just look into this for a second. First of all, as you said earlier, um, my guy, my guy's fight against Madara in Ten Tails and Chudiki form, he had assistance from Rock Lee, he had assistance from Gara, he had assistance from Minato, and he also had assistance from Kakashi. Because remember, he could not get touched by any of the six pass jutsu that Madara had. Right? If he got hit by that, it, the fight would have been over. So they had to create openings for Mike Guy's attacks to even hit, to, for them to even land, right? And we see Kakashi's fight against Kaguya, right? When he was in his Susano. First of all, Naruto even stated that Kakashi's Susano is more powerful than Sasuke's at that point. So that is just crazy. I and, agree with that. And, and, and Sasuke's uh, Susano was uh, used to fight Obito when he was in his Shinchuriki state. So we see that as well. And we see that Kakashi, when he's fighting Kaguya, you can't even touch Kaguya when she was in her tail when she was in her tail beast form, because she was absorbing everything. And he has one of the most important abilities in the series, which is why I don't think my guy would beat Kakashi, There's and that no is the Kamui. There's there, no way. You cannot listen. We all know that when Kakashi only had one eye, he only had one Sharingan, right? He had the outward version of the Kamui, right? With the other eye being give, gifted to him by Obito, now he has both the inward and the outward versions of Kamui, which makes him virtually in, unstoppable. You can't even hit him if you think about it. Because look at how Minato was struggling to hit Obito in their battle because everything just seemed to be going straight through him. Now you have Kakashi with that both of those abilities, right? Coupled with the, a greater Susanoo than, Kaka, uh, than, than Sasuke, coupled with the Kamui Lightning Blade, even if he gets out of his Susano, I don't see Mike Guy, who's strictly a Taijutsu Shinobi, landing a hit on Kakashi. I don't think he will. Now, granted, if Mike Guy finds a way to land Night Guy, all right, he, he finds a way to land that level of an attack on Kakashi, don't get me wrong, the fight's over, right? I think Kakashi can only take one or two hits max from my guy in eight gates because he's just that powerful but when it comes to him landing a hit on kakashi i don't think he can do that in that state i can't see him doing it and no in no way shape or form am i saying that kakashi is stronger than madero because he i don't think he is but my guy just showed out in that position because as minato stated senjutsu and taijutsu were madero's weaknesses in that state all right you you have the greatest taijutsu shinobi of all time right to the left of you of course he's gonna show out of course he's gonna eat have fun have you know eat everything but kakashi is a greater shinobi he, he is in every facet and that kamui ability is something that i don't see my guy stopping yeah if you if you really break it down by the skill set there's no way there's no way my guy's gonna counter something like a like a kamui shuriken there's what what is he, he gonna do he this, even if he gets close enough to hit kakashi and punches through the Susano, he can just phase through the attack and let no force hit him. Yeah. There's no way to actually pin him down and hit him. Even if you were to some able use some type of cheese jutsu and paralyze him, still right. he would still be able to phase through whatever you touch him with. There's right. no way you can even touch him. Like e even if, even if he was running super low on chakra, he could use his last move to send my guy. To the Kamui dimension. Mm. There's, what are you gonna do with that? There's no counters that you you can't counter that with Taijutsu alone. You would need Ninjutsu, Senjutsu. You would need, need something else. Taijutsu or you would is need outside enough. help, which yes. is what a guy needed when he fought Madara. He yes. needed outside help, which is what a lot of you guys are forgetting. A lot of you guys saw how crazy the fight was, how action packed it was. You seeing you're seeing guy basically jump, going crazy everywhere. Um, and that was, although that was impressive, he needed outside help in order to even land hits on Madara. So that's where I think he would he would have to rely on outside help to fight Kakashi, especially if he has both Magenki or Sharingan. It's just, it, it's proof in the pudding, you know? Yeah, even you also have to add into the fact that when he's in double MS, he has pretty much Obito's chakra. 
So his so Kakashi's naturally weak chakra reserves are now doubled. Yeah. With Obito's naturally OP chakra <laughs> reserves. There's no it's, there's no way. Obito is his other half. Them combined, it's nah. Taijutsu is not enough. But before we wrap this up, I just want to ask you, do you think that Kakashi could have pushed Madara to the uh, to the state that uh, Mike guy did? Not at all. Because of what you stated earlier. Right. His only weaknesses are Senjutsu and Taijutsu. Exactly. And Kakashi is not prolific in either of those. Right. So I don't think that's happening. Right. So his skill set against Madara is voided when it comes to his fight against Kakashi. You know? That's it. I agree. I agree. There's no way. There's no way. All right, so you guys definitely let us know down in the comment section below who you guys think would take the cake. Eight Gates Might Guy or Double Magekyo Sharingan Kakashi. And with that, we're signing out.